Joanna Cameron was an actress arguably best known for playing Isis on the 1970s superhero series The Secrets of Isis. Though the show is often overlooked because it was made for a Saturday morning audience instead of primetime, it made Joanna the first actress to play a superhero on television. She also wasn't afraid to get down and dirty when the job called for it. Join Facts First as we take a look at sensitive photos of Joanna Cameron for mature eyes only. The Secrets of Isis Made History The TV series The Secrets of Isis debuted on television in the fall of 1975. The show was originally simply called Isis, though the name was changed to the more pronounced The Secrets of Isis later on. It revolved around a made-up superhero called Isis, played by an actress named Joanna Cameron. It predated more notable female superhero TV series like Wonder Woman, though it rarely gets credit for it. This is because the later Wonder Woman was made for a primetime audience, while The Secrets of Isis was made for kids. Half-hour episodes of the show could be found premiering every Saturday morning. Children ate up the show's action even if they weren't consciously aware of its latent message of female empowerment. The Secrets of Isis came on the air after the success of 1974's Shazam. Shazam was a superhero TV series that followed the character of Captain Marvel. The character got his own feature film in 2019, which also went by the name of Shazam. 1974's Shazam proved a success for its network, and The Secrets of Isis was dreamt up as a companion piece. While Shazam was based upon an existing DC Comics property, The Secrets of Isis and the character of Isis herself were both original creations. To create the character, the producers drew upon Egyptian mythology, but the show didn't pay much respect to its mythological origins. When The Secrets of Isis premiered, it was paired up with Shazam, and the two programs made up a programming block that went by the name of the Shazam Isis Hour. The two characters also sometimes interacted within their respective series. The producers knew they were already appealing to boys with Shazam, so they decided to make the successful show's companion series centered on a female character. It's unclear why they chose not to use an existing female superhero in the DC Comics universe, but it probably saved them some money. Isis became a popular comic book character. Though Isis wasn't a character in the universe of DC Comics, she became one after the show was a success. Isis then debuted in the Shazam comic book series. The character of Isis is still a part of the DC Comics universe to this day, though The Secrets of Isis has been off the air for several decades. In fact, the woman who brought the character to life is no longer with us. The Secrets of Isis may have been a success, but it only lasted two seasons. 22 episodes were produced in total, and subsequent programming like Wonder Woman overshadowed the legacy of the show. Though The Secrets of Isis made Joanna Cameron the first actress to play a superhero on television, that accomplishment didn't do all that much for her career following the end of the series. She retired in 1980 and lived the rest of her life performing normal jobs away from the acting world. Recently, in October of 2021, Joanna Cameron passed away. She was 73 years old at the time of her passing, and a stroke was the cause of death. The news of Joanna's death was revealed to the public by way of former co-star Joanna Pang. Joanna played Isis's sidekick on the show, Cindy Lee. Although neither actress found much success in their careers following the show, both of them retained fond memories of their time working together on the short-lived series. Though the show was aimed at children, Joanna Cameron did some work before and after that was decidedly more risque. Before we show you more of that, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Joanna Cameron started acting in college. Joanna Cameron got her start when she was only 19, and she was quite the looker. Joanna didn't even decide to get into acting until she was already in college, and it didn't take her very long to start making waves in the industry based on appearance alone. Her career started when she was found by Bob Hope, who went about casting her in his movie How to Commit Marriage. The film also featured legendary comedic actor Jackie Gleason, who most viewers will know from The Honeymooners. Following her appearance in How to Commit Marriage, Joanna could be seen playing a lead role in a movie called B.S. I Love You. Joanna's role called for the actress to appear nude, which she didn't mind doing. In 1973, a few years after the release of B.S. I Love You, Joanna took on another lead role. This was in a made-for-television picture called The Great American Beauty Contest. The film was a satire. 
As one might imagine, the subject of the satire was beauty contests. Besides the fact that it featured Joanna in a lead role, it was also notable for other reasons. For one thing, legendary producer Aaron Spelling produced it. For another, it featured an early appearance from future TV megastar Farrah Fawcett. Aaron and Farrah, of course, went on to work together a few years later in Charlie's Angels. Joanna was pigeonholed in the role of Isis. Joanna Cameron likely thought becoming the first actress to portray a superhero on television would prove her big break. But she was mistaken. She ended up being pigeonholed in the genre of superhero television, with one of her few other appearances from around that time coming via the TV series The Amazing Spider-Man. Her final acting appearance came fittingly via a production called Swan Song. It was a made-for-television feature released in 1980. Though she retired from acting in 1980, she didn't immediately say goodbye to Hollywood altogether. She set her sights to behind the scenes. She directed her own documentary short, released in 1982, called Blue Angels in Razor Sharp. Not much came from this documentary short, and Joanna then decided to call it quits on the entertainment industry following its release. Since then, Joanna mostly stayed away from the industry. But she did get back to her roots in 2013 when she worked as a camera assistant on a short film called Stew. Besides this brief return to form, Joanna worked mostly outside the entertainment industry. She seems to have worked multiple jobs after retiring from acting. At first, she decided to become a nurse. It's been said she worked as a nurse for around a decade before changing professions and getting into marketing. In the years leading to her death, Joanna Cameron was a marketer for hotels. She was also a popular model for commercials. There was a time when Joanna was said to have held the world record for the most commercial appearances, and this helped her achieve some more ubiquitous popularity during the peak of her fame. Although she retired from acting, she did continue going to conventions until her death. She was always grateful to fans of The Secrets of Isis, even though there weren't nearly as many fans of the series as there were of Wonder Woman. Shortly before her recent passing, Joanna claimed she wasn't against the prospect of making a return to acting at some point in the future, but she wasn't actively seeking acting opportunities out. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know Joanna Cameron was the first actress to play a superhero on television? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content. By the way, if you haven't joined Facts First as a member yet, be sure to look below this video and click the Join button. By becoming a paid member of Facts First, you'll get access to exclusive video content that you won't find anywhere else. This includes some of our more mature content that isn't suitable for public audiences, which includes topics like Hollywood actresses who posed for Playboy and some of the steamiest moments in movie history. Plus, you can enjoy these videos completely ad-free. Our biggest fans will notice they also get badges next to their name when they leave comments on our videos. We pay special attention to comments from our members and so do other viewers. So if you want exclusive content from Factsverse or inside access to discussions with other community members, click the join button to get started for just $4.99. There are hours of members only videos waiting for you with new videos added every month. And we're actively working on bringing even more features to help fans like you connect with other members and get more of your favorite content. Just click join and we'll see you inside the membership tab.